My name is Donna Kelly. I'm 77 years old. There's an extremely high percentage of people over 70 who do get leukemia, but I have the one that's most serious. It's very difficult up front when you're talking about a disease that you can rarely cure. We know that without treatment, patients often live just a few months, sometimes weeks. Traditionally, we've had to talk about intensive chemotherapy options with all the side effects and hospitalizations that go with that. We've been very invested in beta AML. It's trying to capitalize on lower intensity options and precision medicine. And that's immediately attractive to most patients. He did say that what you, you need to know is that if you do not choose to do anything, then you probably have a four to six month life expectancy. He went on to explain what the clinical study involved, that it was a, a intake of a pill every day She's not received any chemotherapy. She went on to a sub-protocol where she got a targeted medicine against the mutation that we found in her leukemia cells. I've had to have uh, several blood transfusions and I have to have a, a bone uh, biopsy every month, which isn't the most pleasant thing. That's probably the worst thing that, that happens. Hey, Miss Kelly. Hi, Diane. Hey, how are you? I'm good. So you've been through three months of this. How's it been taking the pill? Breathing has gotten a lot better. The numbers look very good. Oh, thank you. That's great. Yeah, this is the result. If you look at your white cell count, it's come up into the normal range. Which is fantastic. If we look back at where you started, you had a very low white cell count right. because of the leukemia in the bone marrow. And as that's cleared, we've seen the white cell count normalize. Oh. That's amazing. The bone marrow biopsy shows no leukemia. So you're in a complete remission. The white cell count is normal. The platelet count has gone normal. The hemoglobin's gone normal. We're not detecting any leukemia cells in the bloodstream. That's amazing for such a short period of time. And I have to tell you, I've never, <clears throat> I've never told that to a person before, that they've gone into remission after three months of an oral therapy like this without giving chemotherapy for AML. I'm so stunned that I really don't know what to say because I so expected the opposite coming in here today. I want you to take some deep breaths. We have a plan B of adding something if that doesn't work. And we have a plan C and possibly a plan D for her as well. I'm probably sounding calm on the outside. I'm elated on the inside. I don't even know how to express my joy because it's exactly what I hope for for you. Oh, thank and, you. Well, it's one of the reasons we do this study and it's one of the reasons that we offered it to you to try to move things forward and, and you're part of that happening. Well, thank you so much. And I'm saying it with for a camera on, but that's a real thing. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you. you know. Mm. I've always thought of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society as the good guys. They have support funds for patients. They really put their money behind research. Honestly, they're going to be responsible for changing how we think about leukemia research and advancing the field more quickly than many other efforts we've tried before. I'm going to have Sarah sort out the details in the appointment, but we're going to, we're going to, you okay? I'm okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's, you know, I guess I'm just so overwhelmed by the timeline, you know, if, if, we had been doing this for seven, eight, or nine months, and it was such an extremely difficult long period of time. I mean, I'm just, I feel like this is miraculous, quite frankly. So, anyway, thank you again. You're welcome. I, I don't quite know the words to say um, how happy I am this happened, but it's what we hope for. I have high hopes that her remission is going to continue. What a beautiful day. I want more just like this one.